both my parents are Muslim and it was only really in our 20s probably where we started thinking okay what is our identity we're Indian but we're Muslim and I was born in the UK and all of that kind of makes you quite confused and I guess we both came at a crossroad where we realized Islam was something we actually saw as a, an integral part of our life. My name is Nafisa Bakar. I am 24 years old and I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Amalia. So Amalia started as a personal frustration. We realised it was a really big pain point for Muslim women to find clothes that were modest but also fashionable. And so we started with a curation platform which just took the best from fashion, from well-known high street retailers and collated it and put it all together. We also have a voices section which is um, all our contributors writing about things that matter to them. So I think with us, I, I don't really see us as just a clothing brand. I see us as more a platform that represents Muslim women across fashion, beauty, lifestyle, topical issues, global affairs. Since we've launched, we've seen the likes of Dolce & Gabbana, H&M, DKNY, Uniqlo, all these mainstream brands starting to cater more to Muslim women. And for us, I guess that's validation. It's on the agenda for brands, right, to be able to cater to Muslim women. In an ideal world, Amalia wouldn't exist. It wouldn't be difficult for a Muslim woman to find the right clothes that she doesn't feel compromises her, her values. The environment here is full of passionate people. Um, full of people who really believe in what they're doing. It's a real community, a community of individuals who are passionate about creating products, creating businesses that add value into the world.